artist creates jaw-dropping ephemeral sand murals across UK beaches I find inspiration everywhere says Mark Trenner the artist who wants to leave his mark on the world literally known for his impressive sand murals across the UK Trenner can usually be found taking a stroll along the seashore working on his art in the sand but calling his art sand circles would not even begin to describe all the planning dedication and intricate work that goes into these beautiful sand patterns that decor the beaches in the United Kingdom and his native Wales we all know that anything you draw on the sand will soon disappear into oblivion perhaps it's that ephemeral quality that makes sand work so fascinating as they'll only get to exist in pictures and Trenner of sand circles knows his beautiful designs will only exist momentarily but as he writes on his website that the only thing we can rely on in the three-dimensional world is impermanence about nine years ago Trenner started to dabble into sand art but he was no stranger to it Trenner told Lonely Planet that he had studied the crop circles of Southwest England for a few years while also following the work of New Zealand sand artist Peter Donnelly Trenner just so happened to be in a family vacation when he decided to test the waters or better yet test the sand Trenner describes his first attempt at sand work as a rough geometrical sand drawing pattern which he concocted after his influences inspired him to give it a shot but how do you walk the fine line between inspiration and blatantly copying someone else's work for many artists like Trenner it's all about finding inspiration in the world around you I find inspiration everywhere he explains but Trenner doesn't stop there a little googling online helps him come up with his own ideas and puts him in the zone for Trenner everything around him is a source of inspiration from patterns in nature to drawings on the internet and more recently from pushing myself into new areas by accepting commissions that challenge me he said Trenner knows there's a lot of power in forcing yourself to take new risks especially as an artist that's one of the many reasons he's taken a number of commissions that scared him at first specifically pieces that are meant to be featured in a wedding proposal the pressure is on and the beautiful sand work should last enough for Trenner's client to propose I did one for a lovely Australian guy who wanted to propose to his girlfriend he said when I asked him if he had any ideas for the drawing he said the only thing he could think of was her car and I suggested this might not have the romantic effect he was hoping for the two of them came up with a pair of horses nuzzling into one another and as you can imagine the stunning sand illustration was so delicate and unique she had no other choice but to say yes but Trenner's work is very in demand for other events and occasions like the time he was commissioned to create a design for the National Theatre of Wales they wanted to promote their production of the Tide Whisperer so they partnered with Seredigan Council and commissioned Trenner to draw eight images that illustrated and celebrated Wales year of the sea Trenner's unbelievable sand patterns drew international attention which prompted him to join a few other sand artists from different countries in Europe the European Environment Bureau commissioned them to create a work of art that had raised awareness about ocean pollution and the harmful effects of plastic and ocean contamination but Trenner's work is so in demand he's still got a long list of future commissions to work on and they include everything from a piece of sand art for a retired musician's 70th birthday a North Wales young woman's birthday piece and of course some free time to work on his own projects or at least we hope so this year has been very full of making pieces for others Trenner said not that I'm complaining and we can definitely see why so many people are interested in Trenner's stunning works of art not only would it make the perfect backdrop for a romantic proposal but it also be one heck of a way to celebrate someone's birthday a baby's birth or even a very special Valentine's Day art is the best gift you can give someone especially when it'll last an eternity in someone's memory and Trenner seems to agree for these circles these mandalas point to the eternal truth of impermanence everything appears and disappears in a continual dance of life he explains on his website check out these other videos from let me know if you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button thank you for watching